Hey, at Woodlanders. We're back on the tractor again this morning on the extraction. We've had a good few loads out already this morning. Things are going okay. It's a nice, cool, frosty start, minus three. I won't bore you with all the details again of another extraction day because you're probably only just seen that one from last week. So I'll bring you along for the highlights. It's stunning. Jeff has lent me his big, big trailer, which is about four of mine, which is pretty awesome. We've got this for the afternoon, which could be the difference between getting this finished and not. So I'm going to have my dinner, refuel my little belly, and we'll see how we can get this stuck in the woods. Just picking up on uh, Ollie Bloggs' answer as a percent. Well, today I think I might be dropped down to about 45. <laughs> 45 today, I think I've put. I had a bit of a weird weekend. I did some at Daft. You ever done some at Daft? I did some at Daft. And in my mind, I thought it would be funny. But it wasn't. And it wasn't funny. And a lot of people saw it. And now I'm like, well, you stupid idiot. What were you thinking? So I feel a bit, a bit, a bit mortified today, which affects your mental outlook and mood, you just think. Anyway, I got a good telling off. <laughs> Karen told me off. She was not impressed, and I'm not impressed. So you've, you know when you... I'm trying to describe what it's like. You sort of feel like you've let yourself down. You've let others down. You have sort of given the wrong impression of yourself to others which is not a nice feeling so that the next time you possibly see them you think they're going to think here's that Muppet again remember what he did last week so that's all wearing through my mind today and of course it lowers you so I'm, I'm okay doing all right but it, it never leaves your mind. You just, it just keeps going round and round in mind, thinking, you fool. Anyway, we digress. I'm going to crack on again. Keep it moving. Stop wallowing in your own self-pity and misery. <clears throat> it's just life. Get on with it. I managed to get four trailers with Jeff's trailer. And I reckon in the coppice there might be one last load with Jeff's trailer. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning all. I've just dropped off them 200 steaks at Twycross. Lovely little uh, hamlet. That's at a farm where they do their own, sell their own meats as well, eggs and meats and those sort of things. Let's get you out of the sun. And then I've got drop off another 50 steaks off to Derby this afternoon. And then maybe this afternoon pop up to Jeff's and do a little bit of extracting while the ground's hard because we've had just a little bit of a frost again this morning, about minus three.
That's them done. We'll get off to Derby. I'm trying to avoid another track today so I thought if I can get out that timber with my log trolley into this trailer and then extract it out into Jeff's yard in the hope that I can do it while it's nice and dry because if I left it till next week and we get rain it's sort of going to scupper my plans the only thing is my log trolley's normally got a handle here somewhere and I've left it up at our woodland so I'm going to have to maul this out Try and holding it by the ball itch, which isn't going to be very comfortable. So a quick update on yesterday, I gave you my answer as a percent, which if you're not new to this, that's what Ollie Blogs does, it's a mental health thing. Give your answer as a percent, how are you feeling today? So I did that yesterday, and I think I said I was on 45, which is about right. I might have dropped a bit more than that actually during the day. And But today, I woke up slightly better, but I've been awake on and off since about half past three. I'm getting a bit tired now. But I think as the day's gone on and my tiredness gets to me, I think my numbers are dropping. So I think I might be down to 35%. Comes and goes. Anyway, let me know if you want to. How would you answer your percentage today? As you watch the video, what percentage are you want? I won't keep going on about it, but I think it's it forms an interesting discussion. And if you don't want to answer, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> I know not everyone wants to comment on YouTube, but let it be known that whatever your percentage is today, there's a lot of us that know what it's like to feel less than 50. So if your percentage is quite low, there's others that know your, your pain's like. I'm not sure whether that's any comfort at all, but. I just thought I'd say it. That is me done for today. We've got pretty much all the poles out now. These are what I'm going to use for craft work, hopefully. Uh, we've still got a couple of piles worth of uh, wood to chop up for charcoal. And then after that, we've got all the rods to come out for the hazel panels. I think we can finally put the log trolley to rest for this this wood anyway. And I'll see you in the morning. Morning. This is on the track that leads up to the woodland and it looks like some sort of witch elm, I think but the root has rotted and um, it's snapped off in the, we had a couple of storms a few weeks back. 
which has sort of stopped the wagons coming up, but uh, it can't stay here permanently. You can see where the wagons hit it, look. So they, uh, when it was upright, the wagons come down and keep clobbering it, and I do think that may have possibly rocked the roots out a bit. We'll cut this up, and then we can carry on our day then. So I think it's elm. Pretty good example of it is, as in which elm, it's got sort of a tigerish stripe running through the bark. You might be able to see it maybe on this one, like a tiger stripe sort of it. And then of course, another winter tree ID. So Ulmus, elm, has quite distinctive black buds in the winter, alternates with black on them. So I'm fairly sure that's right. Got a bit of a flower detail there as well, look. There you go. Anyway, we'll get up the lane. We're going to have a look to see how bad the lane is at this end, because I don't often come in from this end. Thankfully, we made it up the lane a bit tight, and I pretty well screwed up the whole of the side of the panel, because the hedge is rather overhanging, which is really what's causing most of the lorries to drop into the ditch, because they avoid the uh, hedgerow and then slide straight into the ditch. Well I managed to avoid sliding into the ditch but of course it rips 10 bales out of your paintwork. <laughs> Amidst all that silly waffle uh, we've got to get all of this off. Now I've got the, uh, the almost the elm that's got to come off that'll go in the firewood pile. All of the hazel is for craft work. Oh and then we've got to load up with firewood. on my percentage today. I think we've got an improvement. I think I might have crept over 50, which is good. I do maybe maybe even 60 at the moment. You know when something plays on your mind, it, initially it's all the time, then it's a little bit less of the time, and now it's not quite so much of the time. So we're getting better. I've been trying to think of what my one word Wednesday is. At first it was embarrassed, today I think it could be improvement. This afternoon we're off to a little gardening job and I'll see you in the morning. Job up the woods this morning. Brother-in-law has a trailer full of firewood. He helps me do it, so that works out quite well. This afternoon might be just helping a few tree surgeons out on a little job locally. Uh, I said I'd give them a chuck with some brash and a chipper and that. See how the day goes. Good morning. Logman's coming in about half an hour. Come pick up another load. I came yesterday. Jeff helped him with that one. So thanks, Jeff. 
I've just got to go and fetch some beam poles. I've got to dress those, point them, bundle them. Only 10, so I'll quickly do that. It's only about 7.30 this morning. So I'm up with the birds. It's nice to hear the spring, the start of the spring dawn chorus. I love this time of year for the, the noise it brings. You have to let me know what your favourite time of year is. Mine has always been February. Today is February the 11th. I'll soon be another year older. But the less said about that, the better. But we're just on the fringes of something new and I've always liked that. So yeah, there you go, a bit of insight. But let me know, what's your favourite time of the year? Always makes for an interesting discussion. I love the comments. Try and keep up with the comments as best I can. So we'll get these dressed and then get back into the yard and start loading up some timber. I think the topic for this week has got to be mental health and how much of a percentage you're on. We're nearly a week away from where I did my daft thing and I think my percentage has gone up, my self-esteem has slightly gone up and I think as a percentage I could reliably say I'm on about 65 which that's not bad. These things fade gradually for me. My own stupidity dragged me down. And I will bid you farewell. I will see you on the next wood log. I hope you have a great week. Try and enjoy some woodland paradise. See you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.